Hi everybody! This is part of an awesome collaboration between myself and these amazing artists you see here. They've all made wonderful step-by-step -step baby shower theme tutorials just for you. Please see all the links underneath the video to check out their full tutorials. Okay, so for the nose, just take a little piece of gum paste, and of course way bigger than what you were using for the eyeball. Roll it into a ball, and then a little fat capsule shape, and let's test it out, nice and cute. So, go ahead and take a little bit of glue. And you're not gonna place, the nose is not gonna be touching the dark brown face. It's gonna be sitting right at the top of the snout. So just add a little bit of glue there. And make sure that you have no cracks and wrinkles in your nose. That little capsule shape. And place it right over the section where you added glue. Is that cute? Very cute. Okay, okay. Okay, so here is my letter B, and I'm going to show you how to position the teddy. Pretty much you can put the head anywhere you'd like, um, but I'm going to show you how I usually do it. So usually I like the, the teddy's head to be right on the corner of the letter B. So what I'm going to do is I've already taken a little piece of toothpick, a toothpick actually that I cut in half, and I'm going to take the toothpick and insert it in the corner at the same angle at which I wanna add the head of the teddy. So this is another reason why the letter B is a little thick. And you wanna insert the blunt end in, not the pointy end, make sure the blunt end goes in at an angle. Okay, just like that. Sticking out just a little bit just to be able to stab that into the teddy's head. Then I take a little bit of glue, and I'm going to add glue just in the places where I know it's going to be touching the teddy's head. Okay, just a little bit. And I'm going to take my teddy's head here, and it's as it's laying flat on the table, I'm going to push the toothpick into the head. Right in the corner. Pick it up if you'd like and press it towards the letter B. Okay, just like that. Okay, so let's start with making the little arms first and I'm taking a very small amount of brown gum paste. And this is even smaller than what we use to make the snout. I'm kneading it and rolling, in, rolling it into a ball to get rid of all the cracks and wrinkles. Once rolled, you're looking at something that's a little less than half an inch in width. Okay, really cute and little. Place it on your tabletop and roll it into a fat teardrop shape. It doesn't have to be very long. This is just going to be curving around the edge of the letter. That's about as, as long as I want it to be, about one inch. And I'm going to carefully press it down. I don't want to flatten it completely. Just press it down slightly. There you have a side view so you can see just how how little I actually pressed it down. Then this is a teddy bear, so of course it has to have some sort of stitching. So take your stitching tool, and I like to start at the top of the hand, and I work my way all the way down to the end of the little arm. This is just half an arm, and that's all that you're gonna actually see going over the letter. So place the stitching tool right in the center. Just like that. Okay, go ahead and do the same for the second arm. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my teddy here. And so he's supposed to be peekabooing behind the letter B, and he's gonna be holding the letter B you're grabbing on from behind. So all I'm gonna do is take the little arm and hold it and just gently bend down the little paw. Do the same one for the other. Nice and cute. Give it that little 
curve there so you can wrap around the letter B. Take a little bit of glue and only add glue to the part of the arm that's going to be touching the letter B. And he's going to be holding on to the letter from behind. Press down the, the letter B and then, I'm sorry, press down the arm and then press the little arm up against the side of the letter on the side over here. Okay, go ahead and add glue to the second arm. And then he's going to be grabbing on on the other side as well. And I like to have his little arms really close to his head. Does that look cute? Mm-hmm. I'm taking the same amount of gum paste that I used for the arms. And we're going to use that same amount for the two little legs. So I'm just needing my gum paste, rolling it into a ball, making sure there's no cracks and wrinkles. And same thing, I'm going to roll it into a fat teardrop shape. Again, does not have to be long at all, just enough to wrap around and reach your work surface. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten that a little bit. And for the little legs, I like to actually take my stitching tool and stitch both sides because his little feet are going to be kind of kicking up and I don't want to chance uh, one, one side of the leg being visible and they're not being a stitch there, so I'm going to go ahead and roll it over and do the other side as well. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the second little leg the exact same way. So this is just to give you an idea of all the different ways that you can make the little legs and arms wrap around the letters. Okay, so this is one way here. And what I'm going to do is take my little foot here and I'm going to have this little guy sticking out from or behind I should say this hole, the top hole of the letter B. So all I'm going to do is lift the little foot upward. Okay, so this is the bottom of his foot and I'm going to add a little bit of glue only to the section that will be touching the letter. And place it in the hole. Okay, so his little foot is actually going to be coming out of the hole there. And I'm just going to take my tool here and press the leg that has glue up against the side of the letter B. Cute. So he's hanging on there. This one here, I'm going to have not wrapping around on onto the top but just kind of like kicking his little foot up so once again i'm going to take my little foot here and just bend the paw upward just like that and this little foot's going to be going up this way but this part that i have touching the letter b i want to make it just a little pointy and kind of curve it towards the side of the letter B, just like that. So I'm only going to add glue to the part of the leg that's touching the letter, which is a very small portion. I'll kind of just turn it a little to make it do the opposite of what this foot is doing. Okay, now we're going to add two cute little pads to the bottom of the feet here. For the two little tiny pads, we're using the same brown that we used for the little snout and just knead it to make it nice and pliable and roll it into a tiny little ball. I mean, literally smaller than the size of a pea. 
okay it's really really little and then what you're going to do is just flatten it with your finger and you don't want to make it flatter than what the bottom of the foot is just big enough to where you know it's going to actually fit inside and just make it as round as possible so I'm going to just create an X at the top hopefully you can see that another X across from that okay and then I lift it turn it around and then do another X at the bottom here and another X on this top part so if you can see that it's got four little X's around the pad so that it looks stitched okay I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the second one okay so now that I have my two little paw pads I'm gonna bring in my little teddy letter B move these out of the way okay I'm gonna pick one up add a little bit of glue to the back not a lot just a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and place that with one of the little X's pointing to the top of the foot up the second one and add a little bit of glue there and again one of the X's pointing to the top of the foot just like that very cute now I'm going to show you how to position the little heads and the little arms and legs on the O and the Y for the word boy. Alright guys, so we just finished the letter B and recall that we added a little half a toothpick inside the corner here and we stabbed the little teddy's head on. Okay, in the same way you do the letter O and I like to position the little teddy's head in this way. So there's a half toothpick in the top of the letter O and then I created another teddy head and I stabbed the little head on that way. And again, very simply, you create two little arms and you have them come over the edge, just like that. And then the two little feet are gonna be coming out of the little circle here in the center in the same way that we did the little foot here coming out of the hole of the letter B. You're going to do the same thing here. Add some little pads. Nice and cute. The letter Y is simple because you don't need a toothpick and all I do is just simply glue the teddy's head onto the top of the Y. You can see the back of it right there and you don't need any toothpick at all. And this is very cute. You just wrap the two little arms coming from behind right where the the uh, letter Y is here in the middle and then you add the two little legs coming from behind in the same way that we added this uh, right leg of the teddy bear on the side of the B you do the exact same thing for the letter Y so here is my baby shower teddy bear themed boy cake topper and I hope you guys enjoyed it really really adorable there's still a lot of cute little things you could add if you wanted to pearl shimmer the letters you could add little white dots in the eyes to make it super cute with white gel food coloring and this will be beautiful on any little boys baby shower cake and of course you can do the same thing for a girls baby shower cake you'll just have a lot more letters and you could add some cute little bows to the little teddy's heads to make them look like little girls so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much and thank you for being a subscriber and would love it if you guys could join us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. And thank you all so much. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye y'all. Take care. 
Don't forget to check out all of these awesome tutorials for great baby shower ideas. You can find all the links underneath the video.